Good morning, guys. Back early at Bardo Brigade because we got another launch coming up, and that's why I'm here shooting with the main man, Justin. Good and dead. So we got the Dominic Humbly collection. We got three new joggers to help keep you warm for the upcoming fall and winter. Uh, this one's in Heather Gray. This one's super dope. This is one of my favorite designs, actually, when they do like do it inverted like this. Then we got the Barbell Brigade uh, horizontal lockup, and then we got crew necks. Crew necks are back, especially for people that don't really like that hood. But we have it sideways like this, so it looks super dope. And then we got this hoodie with this sleeve hit. Looks so cool. And this is one of my hoodies. I'm always a big fan of just super clean, minimalist, like timeless designs. So I could totally see this like rocking into Barbell Brigade even like 10 years from now. It just looks so classic. And also bringing back the Dominate Humbly tees. Everyone really loved these from back in the day. So we updated it with their new logo. So if you have one of the old ones, you want to get an updated one, get this one right here. And we also have a lightweight training hoodie. Because some people, they like keeping the hoodie on the whole time. And this one's like a really thick, comfy, like snuggle up going out. This one's more of a thinner, like, like you can wear it the whole time while you're training and it's thin. Or if you go out for a jog or something. Got some black camel shorts. Once again, the Barrel Brigade lockup going sideways. Same thing in black. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we bring him back the Axiom design also in a olive green tee so i will be modeling all of these and if you guys are interested in this drop make sure you stay tuned october 21st 7 p.m pacific standard time you guys know how quick things go so i'd be camping out probably like around 650 if you want to get yours in your size that's october 21st 7 p.m pacific standard time on a wednesday uh stay camped out at 650 thank you today is morning leftovers extravaganza i love it i love when i get to clean out my fridge yeah. and then we get to eat all the old food like this one i can't eat anymore because it's just a little too old but so, fawn gets to eat it well i was just gonna leave it up there where like wild animals kick it i just feed that coyote so they keep coming down to the mountains I mean, I was gonna spread it out, so they're like, <laughs> oh, I found it. I mean, they're already living there anyway. I know, I know. Now we have these two coyotes. I'm not sure if we ever were able to capture it on camera, but they're already down here and they've been down here, but they look so sad. Like they, they look like they've been ran over by a lawnmower and then they have like, I don't they know. They definitely, have, they look like they've had tick bite, like they have Lyme disease. Yeah, they look so bad. So we, we feel bad for them and we might give them some food. But today, I also get to have a whole mishmash of food, which is my absolute favorite. I got steak and eggs from yesterday, because I had to leave to go shoot JK News. I didn't have time to eat. Oh yeah, they came too late. But I also got breakfast burrito. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think this will be cold. You that's fine, care? that's fine. It's, it's already leftovers anyways. I mean, but it's sometimes the leftovers. Why, can you put it back in the microwave for me then? <gasps> Thank you. Is it your idea? It was your idea to go. It might be still cool. I cover it with the moist towel. Yeah. So it doesn't get hard. Um, you want it to get real hard. No. <laughs> yeah, it just uh, it just retains its moisture, so then it comes out very soft. Oh, fine. Oh, the fridge looks so nice now. Yay! Yeah, we got a ton of sauces. I know, I gotta clear that next. Got pumpkin pie. I can't wait to see what's expired. Empty, ready for new groceries for the week. Yeah, I ordered via Instacart, so yeah. it should be coming in like in a few hours. Nice. Nice. Ready for some 85 degrees? This oh, just yeah, came baby. in. Baby, baby, are you gonna get a savory or a sweet one? You're a savory person in the morning. In the morning, huh? yeah. So a savory one for sure. Ooh. You know I grew up on these? Yes. I grew up on these little mom and pop uh, Taiwanese bakeries. Yes. And then these guys, they somehow Yucky. made a chain version of it and made yeah. it really successful. And so it makes me happy that everyone gets to eat what I ate as a kid. Nice. Just not this high quality, of course. This is probably yours. What is this? That one. Salted caramel. Yep. Cafe. It's gonna be. Just need a little picker upper. So I'm tired. For the hike Well, we're gonna and my go. brother and aunt are coming, so yeah. we're getting the kiddos together. My brother has, as you guys know, four kids. Yeah. Two of which are twins that are like months apart from Taika. And as you guys know, Anna and Christina have kids. 
and Leah is months apart from Taika as well. So I'm gonna bring them all together. I've been warming up, or we've been warming up. That's the, the first time Leah and uh, Taika's cousins meet, huh? Leah, yeah. Oh, how cute. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be cute. There's gonna be four little, like three year olds. Yeah, pretty much. since last night I've been warming, or I've been heating up the big pool so that everyone's comfortable. We almost never have, I don't think we've ever done it. And you it. know what's ironic? What? We heated it up to 85, 85 degrees. degrees. Oh my god, the universe! Kidding yeah, me. I'm stupid. I need to go. What the hell is this? You ordered damn cookies? No, it's, they just they, they bring it themselves. Oh. Why would you give me boba? But the small straw. I didn't even give you a straw. You no, took your own you. straw. It was in you. I'm oh. not even tripping. Okay, fine. With a little monkey cheeto in the garage right now. And we're about to go on a hike. And I think this is one of the saddest things of not being a dad, but watching his little dude grow up is seeing his cute little stuff not fit anymore. And seeing that we have to get like bigger size items. And I'm like, oh, it's getting bigger. But so far, I think this should fit. So we'll try to stuff it in maybe a few more times. <laughs> a few more times. And uh, we got so many runs out of these little hiking boots. So cutie. But it might be time to get some bigger ones. We'll see. Get back here, you crazy. Hey, don't throw stuff. Yay, they fit. All right. This Velcro part barely fits. Let me see the other Velcro. Let me see the other foot. That one fits good. Let me see. Come here, mister. Come here. Taika, come here. All right, come here. I have to see if it fits so we can go. See what I got to deal with? Taika. Are you going to ride your bike? Yeah. Okay, see you later. Grandpa bought him that one. But I think he bought some, like, cheap-ass Chinatown one. So the pedal... It only, it, exactly, you see that pedal, how it fell off? The pedal, the way that it's twisted on is how you tighten it, but the minute you start pedaling, you have to only pedal the other way so it comes off no matter what. I don't know who designed it, some freaking weird bootlegger, but he can't even ride this thing. So I do have to get him a new bike. Sorry, Grandpa. Finally taking this little young lady on a hike again. She looks so happy. She always loves walking with me and it's so funny because she'll be free on her Kaka. own. Kaka. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Like she'll be free with me without a leash, but then she'll see that I'm holding a leash and she's like, oh my God, he has a leash. And she wants to come with me when she's actually freer without the leash next to me. Freaking bozo. Come on, monkey. So, so the other trail, don't throw me, don't throw stuff at me. The other trail that we usually go on, it's closed for some reason. Could be due to the forest fires, but what's really cool about the city that we live in is there's tons of other trails, so I'm on this one. And I'm kind of glad we're on this one because everything seems to be uphill, which hopefully wears this guy down. What? What? Okay, go ahead. You could do it there. Come on, let's go, monkey cheetah, but do the my feed, though. Vaughn just peed there, and that's horse poo poo. Don't step in the horse poo poo. Come on, let's go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, wears him down a little bit. That way, when his cousins come over later, actually, uh, did we tell you this already? Sorry, it's been a long morning already. But Derek and Dominic, his cousins are coming over, and and Christine is coming with Leia and Enzo. So it's gonna be one giant kid party and I'm so excited because this guy loves kids but since we're in quarantine he can't be in preschool and he doesn't really have a chance to make that many friends just yet but I know he loves being around people. <laughs> Crazy. Now this is also like a horse. Like a horse? Nope, like a miniature like a like a Oops. I don't know what you're saying. I'm making... See right here, the lighting here is really good. Probably gonna take a picture. Why? Hey, start right there. Always, every time, the best perfect picture opportunity. Don't throw stuff at me, you crazy. Hey, stand back over here. Taika, stand over here. Stand right there, thank you. Hey, right here. Taika, come back over here. One, two, go over there. Stand right there. 
I'm trying to take a beautiful picture. No, right here, look. Take a look right here. Stand right there. Okay, look at me. Look at Papa. Take a look at Papa. Say cheese. No, stand back over there. Go back. Did I say you can move? Go back over there. <laughs> oh my god. I did my best, all right? How do you guys feel about this? Obviously, that's dog poo poo. And I saw a dog poo poo over there too. So the argument is we're out in the wilderness. There's gonna be squirrel poo poo, coyote poo poo, mountain lion poo poo, all kinds of poo poo, anyways. So, what does dog poo poo, how does that add to the pollution? I do bring bags. So I do pick up Fonz poo poo, but I'm doing it because that's what we're supposed to do, right? So if that's what we're supposed to do, I'm just doing it because that's what we agreed to do. But then if you think about the logic of things, not the morality of things, there's all over the place. That's what makes me question like, what's the point? Because there are other animals. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. When you guys are going on hikes and stuff, what do you guys do? Like when I go walking in the city, of course, right? Of course, pick up poo poo. But when we're out in nature and there's poo poo from all kinds of other animals, what do you do? I don't know. And I'm talking about the logic of it once again, not the morality of it. All right, let's go, mister. Come on. We're going to block you in the trail for people. I think you found a rock. Yes. That's all this guy wants to do. Like an oval. He's treating this hike like a like, giant like sandbox. A oval. That's smart. That is an oval. I Did you find the... anything else? What is that? I got the oval. Found another oval? Yep. Yes. What is that? An oval. An oval? Yes, it's going this way. Okay, we'll follow you. Let's go, mister. Okay, we'll follow you. Of course. Do we have one block? Going this. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Two throws is good. Go, 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 go. Hey, 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 go. Let's go. God damn it. You're lucky. I'm also a boy, so I know what kind of shenanigans he has to get out. And I know his mom would never let him do these things. <laughs> like, hit me and throw dirt at me. But since mommy's at home working, I'm just going to let him boy it out a little bit. So, for those moms out there that want to know what it's like when dad watches them, this is what it's like. All the mischievous things that your kids are capable of, and yes, they are all capable of these things, comes out when dad's watching, because dad's like, just get it out of your system. Because if you don't, these things turn into like fights at school and all other kinds of mischievous things. <laughs> How many times are you gonna whack papa? Oh my god. All right, let's keep going. Come on. Throw it. Okay, one more. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go. Mama's this way? Mama, where are you? I don't know. Mama, are you in here? No. No? There she is. We're having a good time. We're having a good old daddy time. <laughs> Why is your face so dirty? Because we're playing. We're playing boy style. Go look. Go look in the mirror. Come here. <laughs> Follow mama. Who did that? <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> Who did that? What happened? We we're just playing and he was just throwing rocks and dirt and just having a good time. Being a little outdoorsman. Just trying to clean everything. Okay. The minute we got home, it's been non-stop, super busy day already, cause we have another showing. So we have to clear everything, which means all of Taika's stuff in the garage, clear all the food, wipe the counter down, empty out the trash. Still got to put this away. Don't know what this is doing here. This Ma Bear's bag. Did a quick vacuum. Made all the pillows look nice. Clean everything else here. We gotta take Fawn with us because some people are scared of dogs when they come and look. This guy's gonna try to hit me again. I already know it. Oh my dear lord. But we cleaned everything, vacuumed, 
the floor, turn all the lights on, so it has to look brand new. Thank you, Taika. You ready to go? Ready to go. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. Hey, don't, don't make a big mess. Let's go, let's go come on. Hey, I already know your, hey, do you want your blanket, yes or no? Yes. Okay, then take it, come on. Go. What are you saying? <laughs> you hear that? Sounds like trouble. <laughs> hey Dominic, hey, uh... hey what's that? They're just playing. Oh I know, but it's just like the streaming out of my Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's an earthquake going on. That's so candy. That's Derek, that's Dominic. Pack his cousins that are Whoa, over. Go do girl girl. That's fine. Probably scared. Like what the oh, hell? Yeah, There's like, three please. times the chaos. <laughs> three times the chaos in here. <laughs> Good job! Good job! Taiko really wanted to have the floaties on, which is so cuny. Because he doesn't actually need it, but he wants to have it on. But I guess it will help him teach the mechanics of like breathing in between each swimming. Good job, little monkey dude! Oh, there you go, you little butterfly frog. Too cuny, the whole family's here. Go that way! Go play with them and it's Go swim over there, mister! Is it warm, baby? Oh, it's nice. It's nice? It's so comfortable. Hell yeah. Oh, I just Leia. rolled through with Leia. Hi, Leia. Want to put your vest on? Oh, that's a fancy one. Yeah, Is it? Really oh, wow. It's Costco. Really? Yeah. I like to spoil with Costco, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly. Yeah. No, I think it looks like the kind like, I don't know, you go wakeboarding or something. Like, oh. Looks legit. That's yeah. tight. Yeah. Uncle Jeremy's here. Right, Leia's here. Can you pick a toy? It makes me so happy to see all these kids just playing, messing around. That's cute. I love flames on a grill with all the charcoal briquettes. Looks so nice. Closing it up. Because I already got the steaks. Oh shit! So scaly. <laughs> Put it on one more time. Alright, there we go. Look at all these bad boys. Got a bunch of New Yorks. Got a couple of ribeyes in there, but it looks really good, smells really good. Cannot wait to cut them up. Joe ended up uh, riding his bike from Ant's house all the way over. He said it took him like a good, like, I think 30 minutes to an hour. But having a nice CUNY family time. Ant's feeding Enzo over there outdoors. It's pretty fun. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Don't know if it's too early to tell yet, but I think it turned out good because these guys are New Yorks, so they're a little bit more um, tougher than ribeyes, but look at that. Woo! 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 Nice. Gotta let these guys sit for a little bit, like five minutes before I cut it up. And I also made this garlic ponzu sesame thing. I don't know, just fucking around. Who knows if it's gonna taste good or not, but hopefully it does. Hey, are you guys burying me? Look at all the stuff you put on me. Are you guys burying me? Taika, help me. Help me. Help me. What's going on now? Hey, careful. Thank you for helping me, Taika. There's a baby down here, too. Hey, Enzo. <laughs> you gotta be gentle, I got a baby around here. You gotta be gentle, okay Taika? Oh, careful, don't do that. Enzo. Cute guy. 
You're a Hulk? What are you? What are you? Spider-Man? You're the Hulk? Okay, go. Let me see. Whoa. Okay, go that way. Good job. The house is quiet, silent, and back to normal again. Another day, another beautiful opportunity to make wonderful memories in the house, which we've made tons of. And um, I feel so grateful to live in such a comfortable home where all of our friends can come over and swim and hang out and eat yummy steak and just have such a great time. And I hope you guys were able to enjoy some of the memories that we've shared with you guys. And I hope you guys go on to make memories of your own and have just as much, if not more fun with your own families and friends. But tomorrow is the start of another week and it's time to get back on the grind. Damn, bars, straight rhyming. It's time to get back on the grind. So don't forget to remind yourself that it's a sign to climb. All right, I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself, everyone. Good night.